a TV presenter, businesswoman, author, MC, and model, Cindy's well ahead of the curve. Already doing a summer photo shoot for one of her cosmetics brands. Nico Panaggio found this to be a fine advert for motherhood. Listen, we, we know that you're Ania's mom because you gave birth to her six weeks ago. And that's usually a very good indication. But looking at you, one would never imagine you've just given birth. How? I've always been quite fitness conscious. And, you know, obviously modeling and this industry is my job. So it's something that I'm aware of. But I like to do things that are fun. I like to do some Zumba dancing. And I go for long walks if I get time, which is not often these days. But also having a toddler and having a little baby keeps you busy. To stay in shape, Cindy eats healthily 90% of the time and gives herself the remaining 10% to indulge when time allows. You're a working mother, which puts you on the level of, say, the president of a small country. <laughs> I would imagine you've got serious time management tips for other working mothers. You know, I just try and make time for the important things. I don't watch that much television anymore. I just watch my favorite shows like, like, like Top, top Billing. <laughs> but um, I think when you make time for things like family, friends, me time and hobbies, you have to put it into your diary. It has to be a booking that's as important as anything else. And that booking doesn't get moved for any reason. One move she and husband Clive Roberts did make last year was from Gauteng to Camps Bay. Living at the sea, they get to enjoy their children, Ethan and baby Ania, even more. So, what do you think? Perfection. Nice, eh? Mm. Well, I suppose it was only a matter of time before someone like you with so much passion for everything creative as well as a new challenge would uh, land up behind the lens. I must say, I think I enjoy it as much behind the lens as I do in front of the lens. Ethan, of course, sees me with the camera a lot, so he's now picking up cameras and playing with old cameras and taking pictures. So maybe we're making a little photography here. Like mother, like son. Okay, you'll see how much he likes the camera. Come, come get your camera and you can take a picture of Dada. <laughs> Thanks, my boy. Take a picture. Here, Mama, take a picture of you. Having a family is, is a huge adjustment. So how do you make room for quality time? It's important to do things as a family, and we are fortunate that we run our own business, so um, that probably gives us a little bit, perhaps, extra time. But yeah, time management, I think, is, is critical. So your family has become a priority in your life. Is that reflected in the decor of your house? I think your family is reflected in everything you do, specifically your house and your decor. I also like to try and incorporate um, little personal touches into the household, like my photography wall, which, you know, obviously I take the pictures myself, and it's nice, it shows a little bit of our story, our whole life story from honeymoon to wedding to babies and having fun with that. And um, it's an ongoing project, the house. The photo wall is a living, evolving artwork, while the baby room is an infant penthouse suite. Here we go. Okay, wow, is this, are you sure this is the baby's room? Because this is very sophisticated, very elegant, I like it. What I wanted to do for her is I wanted to give her a princess room because she's my little princess. And where we got her name from was actually, she was a princess character in this book. So I thought of a Victorian era, 18th century princess's room. A lot of damask and soft white linen, crystal, um, orchids, bunnies, silvers and whites. Um, I suppose uh, a little bit of a little bit of a dream room for any young girl including me <laughs> and of course the lovely view she likes to sit at sunset and, and watch the sunset and then she ponders on her life and all her experiences while sipping her milk <laughs> yes, sipping on her milk <laughs> I being a father myself speak baby language and she just said now she said can this man hold me so oh, so let's can try this that. good looking man I, I hold know, me I don't know about uh, that first part, but yes there we go. <laughs> Well, the cliche is that the second time around, it's easier. Is that the case for you? I don't know if the baby's easier the second time around. I think you are more confident, calmer, and you kind of, you're not so stressed about everything. So it is easier in a way, but more than the being easier, it's different. It's still, it's still a handful. I mean, my friends used to tell me that uh, one plus one equals four. And I really think it does. I mean, it takes chaos in the house to a new level. <laughs> it really does. Their support structure in Cape Town includes Cindy's mum, Mariki, father, Chris, and Clive's mum, 
and Maureen, plus one more. So my love, what do you think about our new man nanny? Aha! <laughs> I do dishes and iron as well, so... <laughs> Absolutely nobody can prepare you for parenthood. What for you was the most surprising? The biggest surprise for me was, was coming to grips with the love that you, that you get from a child and that you give to your child. It's just, you couldn't explain it to somebody who doesn't have children. It teaches you a lot about yourself. It uh, teaches you about your relationship. Um, it teaches you patience. And also to appreciate and, uh, and, and respect the little things in life. On Sunday, Clive will have double the reason to celebrate Father's Day. Cindy's got a full year as judge for Mrs. S.A. And they have a trip planned to Europe. It's plain to see they're just one big happy family.